Hi, my name is Bart Polson, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show how to import tables and figures from StatCrunch into a word processor, and I'm going to use Microsoft Word and the online program Google Docs. I have to do a YouTube for this because uh, it's a slightly tricky process, especially in the case of figures. But here's how it goes. The first thing that you need to do, of course, is to log into the uh, online statistics program, StatCrunch.com, which I have done right here. I'm going to sign in. And uh, once you sign in, it brings you up to this screen, My Stat Crunch. Now, I'm going to use a data set that I have entered uh, into my uh, program. And so you won't be able to use the exact same data set, but it's going to save a little time. So I'm going to open up My Data. And I'm going to use one that's called ADD that shows information on ADD scores and gender and academic performance for a group of fifth graders in Vermont. And I have a table and a figure that I've already uh, put together. And uh, once you save them, they go over here into this uh, window. I'm going to open up the table first. It's the easier one to do. Uh, because all you have to do with a table, in this case I have two variables, uh, ADD scores and IQ. And ADD scores, by the way, in this case appear to be what are called T-scores, which have a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10, uh, which gives everybody a two-digit positive number. It's nice. And IQ scores ha uh, generally have a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of uh, 10 or 15, depending on which uh, test you're using. Anyhow, all I have to do here is press copy. By the way, you can get this table. Um, it's a pretty simple procedure. I've got another YouTube video on it, so you can look for univariate descriptive statistics. Um, so I've pressed copy, and now I'm just going to go over to Word, and I'm going to press paste. And there it is. It showed up. Now, by the way, I find this to be an unattractive table that needs a little bit of cleaning up, so I'm going to do this right here. We, we certainly don't need that many decimal places. And um, I'm going to clean it all up in APA format right here. I'm going to center everything. And I'm going to rename a bunch of these. This one I'm going to rename right here. Variable and I'm going to use the M for and the SD, which are the uh, APA symbols. Now, I personally, for the minimum, like to use Q0, and then median Q2, then Q3, and then the max is Q4. And so my table would look something like that. Um, anyhow, there you go. Now I'm going to do a similar thing in uh, Google Docs. I'm going to go back to here. I'll show you again. You press copy. And it brings up this little window thingy, but it'll go away. Okay. Then I go over to Google Docs, which I have open right here. This one's easy too. All you do is you press uh, paste. And this, I'm doing this on a Macintosh, and so I just press uh, the uh, Command V or Apple V. And there it is. And I want to clean this one up in the same way. And let's see, I think I can center it all if I do this. Sorry, it's just uh, taking a moment here. Q0, Q1. The median will be Q2, that'll be Q3, and then the maximum will be Q4. All right, so that's basically it. Um, can get rid of this little null statement right there. All right, the next item is to import uh, a figure. And in this case, oops, sorry, I stay where I am. I'm going to close this window with the table. In this case, I have a box block that I'm going to use, and it's uh, 
It's an IQ distribution for the fifth graders, and you see that it's pretty much symmetrical, centered around 100. Uh, the first quartile goes down about 10 points, and it goes up about 10 points. We have an outlier here, somebody over 130, which is extraordinarily high. Um, anyhow, we need to export this one. Now, figures are a little trickier. Um, if you just press copy, like this, like I did with the table, and it brings up that little window, and then it goes away again. And you go back to Word, and you and you try to paste it. If it goes the way that I think it does, whoa! It just pasted right there, so that was easy. Sometimes we've just gotten a web address, so you can just press the copy and paste into Word, which makes life really easy. And you can see that you can resize it by clicking on it and just going to one of the corners and dragging it in. So that's really easy into Word. Now I like to use Google Docs a lot in my classes and it does become trickier there because you can't simply copy and paste pictures into Google Docs. You have to do this insert process which also requires that you have it on your computer. Now this is really easy on my Mac. It's different if you're on a uh, Windows computer. I don't know really how to do it. You can, well if you're on Windows you can come here and you can right click on it and you can save the image and you can put it wherever you want it. Um, box plot and it's a GIF uh, and I can save it there. Uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop actually and you can see that you know there it is right there. If you're on a Mac you can also just do this. You can just click on it and drag it over to the desktop and so there it is. It's two versions of the same thing. That's cool. Now to get back in to get the uh, figure into Google Docs you need to do this. You need to use this command right here, insert, insert image, because that's what I'm going to do. So I click insert image. I'm going to do it from my computer. I have to browse to show it where it is. And I'm going to go to the desktop, and I'm just going to click on this one, box plot. Double click, and say insert, and ta-da, there it is. You can make it a little smaller if you want. And by the way, if you're in Google Docs and you want to see a little bit more space, you can come up here to View and go to Full Screen. And now I can see the document. Anyhow, um, that's what you're going to need to post the uh, tables and the figures into a more usable format. And hopefully that'll work. Thank you.